So here I have a Nintendo 3DS and uh, it does not matter what old 3DS you have for this tutorial. You can have a old normal 3DS like I have right here. You can have an old 3DS XL or you can have a 2DS, a normal old 2DS and this will work on all of these consoles. First things first, you're going to make sure that you are on the latest version, which I am not. So you have to update and that's what I'm going to do right now. So I will just set up my internet and update. And it of course does not matter what language you are on originally, like I am on Japan, but you can be on Europe. It does not matter at all what you are on. So I will just update the console. And uh, once I have done that, I'll be back. And I am now connected to the internet. So I will go into here, go all the way to the right and press here. Okay. Okay, and okay. And this will update the console. Latest version is 11.17-0-50. And uh, if you're not on that version, you need to update first. So yeah, once this is done, I'll be back. All right, 3DS is now updated. And uh, what you're gonna do now is shut it off. We're going to then take out its SD card, which I already have taken out right here. You're going to plug it into your PC. Plug it in. I'm going to File Explorer. Let's see, here, USB drive. There we go. Just format this USB drive. You will lose everything, by the way, uh, when uh, doing this video. You will lose absolutely everything on the 3DS. So if you have anything important, like photos, back them up. And uh, yeah. Then you're going to format your SD card to, let me zoom in here. As you can see, I have 16 gigabytes here, FAT32, choose FAT32, allocation unit size, that doesn't really matter, I have it at 32, which is default, and quick format, start, and OK. Give this a second here, and that is now done. There we go, OK, and then you can close out of here. Then you're going to go into the first link in the description, which will lead you to this page right here. Just press download and then download as a zip file. And this will now take a second, but let it just download. And this will include all of the mod files and all of the, um, or the region change file to USA. There we go. That is now downloaded. Just going to press on the file, open this, and then you're going to take all of these files and just transfer them over to the SD card. Just give this a second here. It also has to unzip everything because I did not do that. If it doesn't let you just transfer, then you can go back and just go into downloads, right click and extract all and then extract. You can do that first, but for me, it allowed me to not need to do that. So yes, now let's just wait for this. It takes about three minutes. The transfer is now done. So what you're going to do is eject the SD card safely. Oh, I have a lot here. Eject USB storage. There we go. Take out the SD card. Plug it back into your 3DS. Boom, now you can turn on your 3DS. There we go. Now you can go all the way to the left here and open me. Yeah, and let it do that too. Open the me, me plaza. And just wait here for a second. It will make some files. There we go. And now you can go out. If it did not make those files for you, then you have to wait a little longer here. So the SD card can be recognized by the system. And if it doesn't get recognized by the system, then you need to use a, a different SD card, basically. And you need anything over two gigabytes, but I recommend for the modding process using anything under 64 gigabytes, really, for speed and uh, for uh, reliability, let's say like that. And now, once that's done, you can go into system settings. Now 
Now press here, press Nintendo 3DS and press on the top one first. Then you can take out your SD card while the system is on and plug it back into the system. And uh, since you wiped the SD card, you can go into the SD card here. You can press on M set nine. Oh wait, that won't work, right? Forgot I had to delete that. So what you're going to do is go into your browser. You're going to search up Python download. Search that up and then download Python. Download Python install manager and just download Python. There we go, launch when ready, install Python. There we go, install Python now. Just press Y to install Python and enter. It will then install and then press Y again and enter. And uh, now we can close that, close that, take this down. And uh, yeah, so don't worry, everything here is uh, easy to follow let's say like that python might look pretty scary but uh, trust me it's not that scary and now what you're gonna do is go into m set 9 right here just double click on that and here once you get this screen up you will press 1 for old 3ds 11.8 to 11.17 if you actually follow the tutorial and then you're going to press 1 and enter to do a sanity check. And there you can see we got an error and that is because the SD card is brand new. So what we're gonna do is uh, just press enter here and then eject the SD card once again. Eject and plug it into your 3DS. And while you're on the screen, you're just going to press the right there and this will then solve the error. So now press OK. And then you're going to press back and then press on the second option here. There we go. And you will get this me up. So now you're going to take out the SD card once again and plug it into your PC. Still don't turn off your 3DS. Just go into USB drive and MSET 9 once again. Press 1 and then Press 2 and enter to inject the mod. Now, boom, that is done. It will take longer if you have a slower PC. And enter. Now you can eject your SD card once again. Take out the SD card. Plug it into your 3DS. Just wait a second and boom. Now you will just follow the instructions on screen and if it keeps loading or something like that for you, just restart the entire tutorial and uh, if it still doesn't work then make sure that you have an old 3ds and not a new one and that you are running the latest version so yeah just follow what it says on the screen here and a give this now a second there we go press a and then you will get the luma menu up right here and what you're gonna do here is press start and then really quick press and hold start again. So start and press and hold start. Boom. And this will take you to God mode nine. And uh, if you follow this incorrectly, what you're going to do is power off your 3DS and press start and hold it and then power on your 3DS while still holding start. And that will lead you to this page right here, God mode nine. If you didn't get into God mode nine, you're just going to power off your system. There we go. And then you're going to press and hold start and power. There we go. And that's God mode 9. So just press A, 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 and then go into SD card. Go all the way down here until you find this file right here, the big one, 11.15.0-47U. It's the 757.8 megabyte file. Don't mix it with the 32 byte file need the big one so just press a on that press a on ctr and options and then go down and select transfer image to ctr and writing to sysnand is locked unlock it now press a for yes and then just follow whatever it says on the screen it's different for everyone and a 
and this will now start uh, the region change and uh, once this is done you are not done trust me there are still steps to do like making ds games work and making big games work because uh, yeah we need to fix those and also install all of the homebrew and mod apps so uh, yeah this will take about five minutes so once this is done i'll be back and there we go crt transfer is now done so i'm just going to press a and then b and b and then go down to sysnand ctr and and then data press a on this number uh, thread of numbers then go down to sysdata and then delete the file that says 17 on the end nothing else just press X and then A to delete. Nothing else. Then press start. And you just made a big 3DS games work. There we go. Now just press OK here. Next, take the 3DS slider. Next, activate 3D. Disable 3D, just go through everything here. I'll give this a second here. Next, I'm just going to name it one. Okay, okay. Next, here you will need to set up internet. I accept. There we go. So just set up internet and I will do that. And once I am done with that, I'll be back. There we go. Internet is now set up. Just press OK, finish, exit, next, do not set up. And just press home. Do I need to change the stick on this? Yes, I do. Got it. Now, just close out of here. Do not update system yet, because we have to do something before updating. Go all the way to the right here. Go into download play. Then you're going to press down, L and select at the same time. Go down to miscellaneous options and press A on switch the HB. Once you get operation succeeded, you just go B, B, and B, and then go home. If you did not get the Rosalina menu up, then um, that means that you have a broken button, so fix that button. Press X to close the software, and then open the software again. This will trigger the homebrew menu or homebrew launcher to open. What you're going to do now is go into TBL fix and press A, and then press start. And give this a second here, it will now just restart. There we go, now just go into download play once again, and then once again, press down, L and select at the same time. Go into miscellaneous options, switch the HB. Once you get operation succeeded, you just press B, B, and B. Press home. Press home again. Maybe even a third time. If it doesn't register, X to close. And go into download play again. And now you're going to go on to FPI, go into SD and then go down to CIAs, and then on current directory, then install and delete all CIAs, and A. This will install HOP, Anemone 3DS, Checkpoint, 
FBI, Homebrew Launcher, Universal Updater, and there we go. Now I just press OK and Home. Close here. Okay. And here you can unbox all of your apps that you just downloaded. And uh, yeah, you can just use them as normal. There we go. I might have to delete a chop from the list later, but uh, we'll see what uh, YouTube thinks about me including it, I guess. Now I just go into system settings. If HOP is not there, then uh, I have a tutorial on my channel on how to download HOP. But uh, I guess we'll see. Then go into other settings, go all the way to the right here, and then system update, and OK. And this is where you need internet, so uh, I accept. Battery is running low. Let me just plug this in here. Boom, this is now updating. And uh, once this is done, I'll be back. Right, so now the system is updated. Just press on OK. Now you can go into system settings again. And here you can see that you are now on 11.17.0-50 U for USA. So that's how you do that. Now if you're wondering how to install DS games on your modded 3DS, I'll leave that right there. If you're wondering how to install Game Boy games on your modded 3DS, I'll leave that right there. And this is how you install HOP on your modded 3DS.